Hey guys, so today um, I'm just doing a little update slash corrections video of my Raspberry Pi. Um, as you can see, I got a new case. It's a nice little bamboo case here. Um, I got it for a couple different reasons. Um, one of them being that these little legs are reversible. Um, with the initial issue with the screen is um, the orientation is upside down, but if you go through the command um, boot, you can actually flip that around through the software and not actually have to be silly like me and buy um, hardware that you can reorient the legs. Um, one of the issues is even just adjusting it, um, your HDMI and auxiliary and power are on the bottom, but let's move to the correction real quick. I'll get back to the other stuff in a second. So I accidentally told you guys the wrong placement of the ground wire. It's pin six and not eight. So that's one, two, three there. And then um, the power is fine. So I use this mainly when I'm um, checking files and moving stuff around from the laptop to the Pi itself. So there is that. And I took out the yellow and the green wire. I don't use them. It's for the clock and touch screen functionality. So I just removed those so I wouldn't have to worry about them. But um, I'm going to post a link that talks about the pin mapping. So if you guys are curious to learn more about that, um, they describe it better than me. Um, as I said, I'm really just doing this as a simple little RetroPie setup. So if you need more information, more accurate information, um, uh, check them out. But as you can see, it's a nice little case. It's um, It leaves everything open so I, you have access to all the wires and stuff. Um, and the HDMI, the power, the auxiliary, and the USB and whatnot. It's it's a pretty nice little setup. I like it a lot. Um, with this setup, I take it places. I show it to people. Um, you can plug it in, unplug it, put it in a, like a big old sock, and it stores pretty well. And it sits nicely. Um, it doesn't really rock or anything, depending on your setup. But I hope um, that this little correction and update is useful to some of you guys. So if you did follow my initial, I guess it wasn't really tutorial, it was just a setup video. Um, make sure you check those ground wires and move them over, and I hope to see you guys next time, and thank you very much for checking out my little update, and I'll see you next time. Bye!